Okay guys, so welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video. And um, as you've seen in the previous video, um, I think it's the previous video, not sure, but um, I got my e-waste to pick up. So the problem I have now is, well, let's have a look at the problem. The problem I have now is I have all this to clear. So <coughs> as um, E. Matthews would have said, what's the best way to eat an elephant? and uh, the answer of course one bit at a time so i've decided the one bit of this elephant that i'm going to start with is going to be these cables so i have a big pile they go all the way down back behind that and i also have <coughs> let me turn my camera a bit the other way if we go outside I also have a pile of them down in here. So again, in behind this, there's another pile of them cables. So I'm gonna to have to get them all out to start with. But then I'm gonna to have to cut off these black ends and um, any of these ends and any of these ends so that I can get the little bit of gold bearing material that's in there not much just a bit and probably very low quality but that is the plan so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to try and locate all these if i can so as you can see there's piles of stuff out here and piles of stuff in here to go through so right to the ceiling and all the way down to the ground. So, I suppose I better make a start on it guys. So, I'll try and get these out from behind all these boxes and um, we'll see what we have and we can start tearing them down. And that'll be the first bite of the e-waste elephant. So, check back guys and we'll see how we're getting on. In this bin, I have piles of these filled right to the top and this bin is empty and the plan here is to just for the moment cut these off put these in a little container so all the ends will just go in one container and then all the insulated wire so again Hopefully, um, we'll see what I'm going to do with these, whether I can do a deal with pop scrap for something or maybe just bring them straight to the scrap yard or whatever and see what I get for them in value once I have a couple of things. So at the moment, I'm just going to, I'm sure there's more than one bin worth of them somewhere. Um, I just didn't dig it all completely out um, because once I get through for this video, I'm just going to do this one bin full of it, and we'll just put the wire in there and we'll um, get all these ins and hopefully then at the end of it we'll um have um just a um bin full of insulated copper wire and a uh, tub full of ends and then we'll have to strip the ends out and see what we get through them so i'm just going to go get a pliers uh, because it's easier just to break off these ends and or maybe no i'll cut them for this one and we'll break them off on the next part so i'm just going to get my cutters and we're just going to cut these ends off. So all I'm doing is just a bit cutting. Again, uh, cut along here. And just throw the, the remains in the other bin.
Okay guys, so now I have um, finally um, taken all the connectors off them wires. So I'm just left with these little connectors here. Um, so I've got a big tub of them which need to have all the pins removed. So that's going to be the next stage of this making room in the shed video. Um, is I'm going to have to remove them but I'll just put them aside if I can put them somewhere uh, I don't really have room so I'll try and move the camera back a small bit put them down the ground sorry about getting my head in the way and in here we have a bin full of these insulated copper wires so I'll get a weight of that hopefully at the end I want to see how much of that I'm sure there's more than in the shed but I'm gonna probably have to dig out more to get to find them but um so let me just close this up again if I can uh, where is the little slots right there and right there so that's it locked and um, so I, I go and leave them and we get a weight of them hopefully at the end next I have to take these um pins out so we go inside and we'll show you how we remove the pins and um, we'll see what weight of pins we get they're going to be very low quality gold on them very little on them but as i say this is a hobby and i like doing it and um, we'll see what we have so let's go inside and let's start pulling a few pins and we'll see what we end up at at the end so let's go right guys so uh, here we are and all i'm going to do is i'm going to be removing these little pins so some of them will have a, you can see in there there's like a, a little third strip which is in the middle I've already removed it from there and you can see the the gap so all that third tr strip is it's a if I can get a grip of it here with the little pliers thing or snips it's just one of them it just runs along the center it it's what divides them I suppose or connects through to the copper wire as well maybe I don't know Um so that's all I do I remove them and then that allow me to just get a grip of some of the pins so all i do is i just use these little clippers they're like a nail clipper or whatever you call them tin snips or whatever i don't know what the right name of them is i'm sure you'll tell me there in in the comments what they are and just get a grip of one and we'll just pull out the pin so i know it won't probably focus that well so there we are so you can just see there's a little bit of gold on the actual tips very little as i was saying already and all i'm going to do is put them into a container um and um when i get all these done we'll see what we have left at the end so i'm not going to put you through the um the hardship of having to watch me pull out all these thousands and thousands of pins um i'm just going to pull them out um off screen so it's just straightforward you can see there just grab a grip and then another one that was um i think it was Raphael scrapper that told me this would, was a good way of getting them using this um, and it actually is um, so once you get a grip of it it's just one it's just getting a grip of it pull out and there you have your you think I don't know can you see the gold on it it's very very hard to see but you can just see there on the tips this little gold bit on the tips very little but um, hopefully in the piles and piles of these because as you can see that container when I can tip it over to the side you can see that container is a nice big deep container uh, if I put my hand there to give you an idea um, of the size of it and that's about halfway filled or um, maybe just uh, under halfway maybe we'd say two-fifths filled um, of it so I'm going to continue and I'm going to do all these and we'll see how, how we end up at the end in the container so um i'll just start keep pulling the pins and we'll see what we end up with so let's see how we got on
Okay guys, so now I have um, pulled all them pins as you've seen in the previous part and um, we're going to get a little weigh in and see what we end up with in pins. So we're going to set the scales up, we're going to put a little tub there, we're going to zero it. Well I hope I'm going to zero it, there we go, zeroed. So you can see that there and we're going to pull all these pins in and we're going to see what we ended up with in weight wise. Just to give you an idea of now what, what we... So as you can see there, because you've seen that already when I was pour, pulling them and putting them in. Like we have 1.4 kgs or 1,405 grams of pins that are pulled. Um, now, let me just see if I can zoom in a small bit for you. There we go. So you can see the total there, 1,406 grams. And the very, very low grade, as I already said, these are really, really low grade pins. Um, so they, um, let me zoom out again. There we go. So you can see they're, they're very, very low grade. Plan with this now is to put this into copper chloride, but because it's the middle of winter, plus all my copper chloride is behind everything in the shed, I'm not gonna be able to do that for a while. So I'm gonna to have to uh, put these away and maybe at some stage get them into the copper chloride once I get the shed cleared enough to get into the copper chloride Leave them sitting in it might do two batches two different batches There will be a lot of acid used up on this process because um, Of the um, low grade of the material is so there is some very low grade gold on it uh, very lightly flashed um, reverse electrosis may work be better more economical but again that involves setting up a lot of stuff and I don't haven't got the room to set that up and I don't want to really set it up yet I'll do videos at some stage in reverse electrosis so I might use on, hold on to this for that process when I get around to that video um, I was going to give you a weigh in of the cables that we got from it but I kind of know there's more buried behind that load of stuff so this isn't going to be all the pins, this isn't going to be all the thing, but it's for this video, it's going to be all of it because I, I just want to finish this video up and get on to more stripping of other stuff from the um, pickup. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I have the whole shed completely, everything stripped down, and we're going to get a total weigh in at the end of all the cable, any brass, any copper stuff like uh, motors or transformers that are in the, in the stuff. Um, I'm going to and um, just see how much does that work out at from the e-waste pickup alone and then as you say when I recycle the uh, recover the gold refine and recover the gold from that we we'll get another sort of thing so that way in hopefully will be um, as soon as I get through everything so as quick as I can get through it so we'll weigh up all the cable and that and then as I, uh, I always keep saying in the last couple of years I'm going to definitely arrange something with pop scrap we might be able to do something he might be able to bring it to the scrap yard and we might be able to split the money or he might be able to um give me um e-waste in return for it and stuff like that uh, but there will be a lot of cable so i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it is it um worth my while just going myself and thing but it might be easier just to give it to someone else and let them look after that, that if they decide to strip it down or whatever they want to do so we'll see what we can come up with myself and pop scrap we'll have i'm sure we'll we'll come to some agreement on it at some stage um in the new year because it's coming up to christmas here now and um that's it really for the video guys and um, so thanks for watching and again if you haven't seen that e-waste pickup bo -bo -bo, it's up here somewhere where where i picked up all that stuff so go watch it now and um see the amount of stuff i have to get through and um, i'm sure the next couple of videos are going to be me stripping out stuff from that e-waste pickup and uh, it'll be a while probably before i get to gold refining maybe not if i get to that copper chloride pretty quick um i'll be doing something on it maybe recovering some gold from the gold fingers from some of the other boards that are there that i, I you'll see me doing videos on soon enough um cutting fingers off stuff and stuff like that so maybe i might that's fairly straightforward to get the gold off them with the copper chloride so i might do that um that might be the the one the videos will be easy so you get still get to see some gold recovery videos coming not just stripping out stuff or not just pulling pins and stuff like that so thanks for watching guys hit the like hit the subscribe and um, thanks for giving up your time and watching it see you on the next one